Hey guys, this is basically an updated version of my last settings video, which did pretty well. Um, first, I'm going to go over the window settings, and then I'll be showing the in-game settings since some things have been updated slightly. Um, for the most part, it's still the same, but I just want to make an updated version for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so you want to search up uh, game mode settings. Enable it. Um, I would just help you out um, with your PC with latency and it should give you a little bit more frames and Then you want to go to graphics settings and you want to where it says browse click on it and wherever your siege is installed add both the rainbow six and rainbow six of Vulcan So just both the different uh, game versions that are available uh, The regular siege is like more CPU uh, based and Vulcan will uh, like balance it out and use more of your GPU um, instead of just your CPU and then also you can turn it on hardware acceleration, but you do have to reset your PC um, if you turn it on. Another thing in Windows is to go here to show game bar um, settings and just turn it off. It's like an, an overlay for like Xbox that's on like PC. So just turn it off. Um, there's really no need for it unless you play Xbox then, I guess. Um, you, know, you can leave it on if you want to like, join Xbox parties. Next, I want to talk about my new video control um, panel. So you can just right click and um, open the control panel. It should load up soon. There we go. All right. So here, if you really want the most performance, you can literally um, just drag this over to performance. But I, I use the use 3D image settings. These are the settings that I use. But if I'm being honest, this really won't affect Siege much. much. I mainly use this for uh, Tarkov. But it still helps if you want to copy these. But next, I want to discuss the resolution and um, refresh rate for your monitor. So these have two monitors. Uh, one's 360 hertz, the other one's 240. Um, I think if you go here, see it caps out at 60. So just make sure you're on PC and you click your uh, resolution. And just make sure you're on the right um refresh rate because i have seen that a lot of people uh they won't actually have their highest refresh rate um and they have no idea uh the only other setting that I really have changed in this is the uh, digital vibrance by default it's 50 i believe but i recommend between like 70 and 80. it just gives you like your panel like for your monitor more color um i just leave it at 100 just because i like the way it looks um on my uh, monitor I'm going through these settings. I don't think I've changed any of these, but um, I'm gonna still show you guys. G Sync, I probably, yeah, I wouldn't recommend G Sync really. That's just multiple displays. Have it on allow. Not just, if you want to copy this, you can, but this really doesn't matter. One thing I would recommend changing is the color. And then the manage 3D settings if you really want to uh, mess around with that. Also, I'll link this um, program. This is the GeForce experience. You can also use this to record, which is what I mainly use. And it's also used to update your your uh, graphics uh, card um, drivers. If you have an NVIDIA um, GPU. I don't really mess around with any of this. Um, I'm not sure what any of this does, but yeah, I just have a 490. But yeah, I really just use this for um to record and update my drivers. Now I'm going to show you my main settings like in game. Um, these are my stats by the way on my alt account. I'm just to show you guys. Mm. All right, now let's get into the main settings. So for general, most of this is preference on this side. But I would recommend um ping on just so, so you can see the yellow pings um from your teammates and you can also give uh, pings to your teammates. This right here um will show your frames on the bottom left. Um this is just gives more info on it. This where just preference here. I have this on, on, but like I said, it really doesn't matter as far as just when you cycle cams. Diffuser pickup. Personally, I like to just have manual because you know, sometimes in a certain like situation, if things get hectic, you don't want to accidentally pick up the bomb, um, and die with it. Um, so I just have it on manual. 
this is new. This guy added this season. It's like the line before, like you throw uh, like an impact or C4 or an aid. I show you the trajectory. I'll just leave it on, I guess. Um, it's pretty good. Um, drone after prep. I would recommend leave on either semi or manual, just because, like, let's say your teammate wants you to hold a cam, um, like to watch a spawn peek. Uh, it won't take you off the camera. Um, when the prep phase is over, so you can just stay on the cam the whole time. A uh, match replay, just have it on. I have this on. These two on. As far as HUD, it's more preference if I'm being honest. But I'll show you guys what I use. Um. But like I said, yeah, this mouse is preference for the most part. This, um, I think I, I usually have this on 40 just because I just like the way it looks. I don't really like it um, on my screen. Mm. What I do have off is, it should come up around here. Teammates username. I ha I do see some people like without like all outlines or icons. I keep these two on. And the only one I really have off is the username just because sometimes it's like a super long username and it gets in the way. This is like a little, um, the opponent rim light. It's like a, like a little glow effect around enemies. I'll just leave it on. Just, it makes it a little bit easier to see enemies. Um, as far as this, like I said, most of this is um, preference. Bands, sometimes I just leave it off. If there's like huge band waves, I just don't want to, you know, you don't want that on your screen when you're in the game. Um, and usually I have operator guides off as well. Yeah, that should be it for here. As far as audio, the only thing I really recommend here is the dynamic range. I personally believe that you should play around with it and see what you prefer more. I've been playing Sage for a good while now, and I've just gotten so used to night mode. I have heard people say that hi-fi is good. I just play Nightmo. I've been using it for years now, so that's what I'm most comfortable with. But I do recommend, if you're not sure, mess around with it. See what you like. Um, let's see if anything else is here necessary. Uh, this is just like the microphone that's used in game chat. This is what it is used to here. Um, push the talk. Mm, nothing else really here to talk about. Now display. This right here can also be preference for the most part, but I do recommend just running the highest resolution that your monitor offers. Um, and just full screen as well. I have seen some people play borderless, but I would just recommend full screen. Um, if you, as long as you're, you have your NVIDIA panel um, or window settings uh, for the right refresh rate, um, you should be able to pick the highest refresh rate on your monitor. Aspect ratio, personally, I like, um, I've mainly been using 32. Um, I used to use 16, um, 10, but it's basically the same thing. I just like 32 a little bit more. Uh, 4 3 is really popular as well, especially now. Um, since like ACOGs are out, more people, if you don't like the ACOGs, a lot of more people they went to 4 3 to uh, like the hollows to look a little bit better. Um, by default, it's 16 9, but like I said, I just recommend messing around with it, seeing what you like. Uh, V-Sync, I would just have it off. That's what I recommend. FPS limit. I mean, as long as your PC can give you more frames, I would just honestly leave it off. There's no point to really cap yourself if you don't need to. Wide screen letterbox. This is like for aspect ratios, like the crazy ones. It'll add like a little horizontal. Well, it'll add like a, uh, like a, I'll show it, but it'll show like a black, like rectangle on the top and the bottom of your screen. Um, FOV field of view um i see a lot of people go between 84 and 90 i i've just been using 87 hud display um it's just like in games like your hud you can make it smaller if you want just preference i'll leave mine at 100 now this is just for the menu it's really nothing here uh to change it if you want um brightness i run 69 mm -mm. now graphics if you have a nvidia card um, I would just recommend leaving on on plus boost. This is just like, um, it'll show like in game, like a little, um, icon. I just have it on off. Now, if I'm being honest, if you really want the most frames, literally just have everything low and then TAA, I would either recommend it 
off um or on but if you run on like the lower these two settings are the the more frames you technically should get but your game won't look as clear it will look a lot more like blurry but texture quality usually i run between high high and ultra just preference there really isn't much of a frame impact here like once you have a decent pc this really doesn't matter texture filtering i just have linear lod i just have it ultra i like the way it looks um shading quality really doesn't matter but i would recommend is having at least shadow to medium because then you can see shadows and shadows in game and i'll show a clip if um i have one um showing you why this is good i guess i didn't have on i think they're above in master bed oh, i'm tripping over mine a reflection quality it's, you know it talks for itself you know it's just about the reflections i'm not sure what really most of these are uh this one is like a red or blur around your um scope i'll show a picture of it um a bit on and off Um, same thing with this one. I think this one kind of just adds more of effect to it. Um, this setting, I honestly just have it off. If you don't see this, I believe you either need to be on Vulcan or like the regular Siege. Um, just mess around, see which one loads it. Because I think sometimes it loads on the regular Siege for me. And then it won't load. And then it will be on the Vulcan. And then the next time it won't be there. I don't know. But... Just mess around with that if you really want to, but I just have it on off. This is really just like for 4K or 8K, which is, I would recommend that on Siege. Um, Anti-aliasing, like I said, I play with it off. Um, but if you do run TA, I would probably run, the minimum I'd recommend is probably like 50-50 for both of these settings. Um, but I just have it on off. controls um personally i like 400 dpi that's what i use uh raw input i've heard it's bugged but like sometimes i see that it's working then it doesn't i just to have it consistent i just have it off um my hip and uh my hip sense is 12 12 and as far as my mouse um i mean my my scope sensitivity is around 70 80 i don't really use anything above this i just uh, it's random uh, mouse scroll, I, I do have that on. Gadget deployment is that advanced. Um, I would honestly recommend to have this as advanced because, like, let's say you're placing a thermite charge and someone runs out, you're able to cancel that um that animation and have your gun up and be able to you know actually be able to shoot back. Um, with drone deployment, also recommend this to have um on advanced because when you throw a drone and this setting isn't on, it's by like the default standard um you will automatically get onto your drone if you throw it and a good bait to do is like what some people would do is like throw their drone and you'll think you'll want the enemies to think that you're actually on the drone but you're not like your gun is still up so this just like leaves your weapon up um aim i run hold so people run toggle our preference here um lean also i run toggle i've heard hold is good but honestly i haven't tried it 
I do believe it does take a while to get used to. But I've heard good things from it. I just personally haven't tried it out myself. Um, this is just preference here. For customized controls, I'm gonna go through mine, but I do have one setting um that some people I um asked me about, like when to swap weapons. <laughs> my primary, um like next to my primary, it'll show like a question mark. Um and that's because let me see if I can find it. Um there's a setting here, weapon swap. I think by default it's period, but I have it as one. So it'll basically always just swap my gun, which is um why this my primary weapon was like a question mark on it. I've been asked about it a couple times. Um but yeah, that's that's why I say is that as far as controller, I haven't played controller in years. All I really know is that you want vibrations off and um when it's controller rotation, classic. Cause I think I stopped playing it when they, um, like year five with the controller. So I don't know honestly what half, how half of these work now. Like back then, it was just like one sensitivity that you use for across the board. Um, next is privacy. If you want a nickname, you can just have it on. Um, let's see if anything here is um worth talking about. I guess if you're a streamer, this helps you. You know, you get a. Um, both of these help you to um, hide your server and you know self 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 explanatory. Um, just delays the matchmaking. Accessibility. The really only thing I, I recommend here is to have your screen shake off. You don't want your screen shaking when an explosion goes off around you. Um, so yeah, I just keep this on off. As far as color, uh, optic color, it doesn't really matter. It's all preference up to you. I usually go between purple and like turquoise or green. Light green and light blue right now. Um, I guess I'm just going with purple. Uh, opacity, I'd probably recommend between maybe 50 to 80 for the most part. But like I said, some, um, I just have it on 70. Um, now I have heard that people they rotate these colors so your team color would be like red or um orange and then the opposing team color would be uh blue and some people say that's like to see gadgets easier but for me these have basically been the colors the entire time for me um while playing c so i'm honestly just so used to it i, I kind of like messes with my brain when i see other people had the colors um rotated around but it makes sense why you know you will want it to blue, uh you like have the enemy gadget that's blue like let's say it's a Valcam when it's on you'll see the blue um out like the blue evil eye and it's it it blends in but I mean it's it's easier to see rather than it being orange but I just I just run orange because that's what I'm used to um it sure doesn't really matter. And yeah, that should be it. Thanks.